Do you want to pony hop like a pro? Then this is the video for you. What are you really here? Kill him! <laughs> To make this script work, you need to have Razer Synapse, which requires a Razer product, mouse or keyboard. The first thing you need to do is open Razer Synapse, and click on Macros. And then click on the buttons and click Import. Now locate the Razer Synapse BHOP macro from where you downloaded it, in the description. Open it and click Import. Now select the auto bhop macro in the macro menu. Now take a look at the script and it should look something like this. A different delay on the first three jumps and then the same afterwards. Next step is go to your mouse settings and make a new profile. You can type in a custom profile name here if you want. Now select the button where you want to have the macros on. In my case it's mouse number 4. Then select macros. This part is important so play, pay attention. Make sure you have playback options as play while assigned key is pressed. And select the right macro, where we, the one we just created and hit save. Now this should be all you need to make the macro work. If you made a new profile make sure you have the right settings in your performance menu. In my case it's 900 dpi and 1000 in polling rate. Before you go into the game make sure you go into your options menu, keyboard and mouse and make sure you have jump toggle to space, the space bar. But if you're jumping with the scroll wheel, you need to put in this command afterwards for it to work. Now let's jump in game and see how it looks like. The first thing you need to know is that you need to press the button where you bounded the macro to to be able to start jumping. The next step is to start moving forward and when you have hit full speed you should press the jumping button which start the macros and you will be able to jump in a continuous sequence until you release the button. To be able to practice this you can type in this command and it will show you your current speed in game. Your maximum movement speed in game is 250 units with the knife. But when you are bunny hopping, you can achieve a higher speed than 250 units. The maximum limit is 300 units per second. And if you achieve a higher speed than 300 units per second, you will slow down automatically. The bunny hop script only works on flat surfaces and it will not work in any slopes. It will also be quite difficult to bunny hop on A long on Dust 2 because the surface is not 100 completely flat. However, it will work 100% fine on Dust 2 Short and Catwalk because the surface is 100% flat. Something to keep in mind when using the script or macros is that the script will use an extra hop at the end because it will need to complete the sequence when you release the button. Another limitation is that this script only works on 64 tick servers and not for Faceit or ESEA with 128 tick servers. With a different server tick, the timing for each jump is different and therefore the macro doesn't work. So how does the script work? Basically, every time you jump to hit the perfect bunny hop, there is a specific timing to hit the bunny hop. And if there's a flat surface, the timing is exactly the same each time. So all you have to do is find the perfect delay between each jump and you will have yourself a script. So can you get VAC banned for this? No, absolutely no. You cannot get VAC banned for this script. To be able to get VAC banned, you need to have modified the gaming files to get an unfair advantage or use an external program which modified the game values or files. But 
can you get Overwatch banned for this? Yes, it is possible to get Overwatch banned, but there is a legit way to make bunny hops like this, and this just make it makes it 100% consistent, like a jump throw smoking script. Can you get banned on Face It or ESEA? Maybe you have to ask them or read the rules. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment section and I will do my best to respond. And that's all for now and if you like this video, make sure to rate it and there will be more in the future.